In this video, you will learn how to use and set up various OMR regions in Remark Office OMR. OMR regions are typically made up of bubbles or checkboxes that collect objective or multiple choice data on your form. We will use a hospital stay satisfaction form in our demonstration. First, I will show you how to define an OMR region. Start by clicking on the page one node. Then select Insert OMR Region in the toolbar or click Page, Insert, OMR Region after selected page. Under the section Length of Stay in Days, Click and drag your cursor over the row of bubbles. Leave a small amount of white space between your box and the bubbles. If you need to adjust the box later, you may do so by dragging its borders. The Properties window then appears. Define the region name. If you plan to export data to another application, region names can be included in your data. Choose the OMR type that matches the data you are collecting. The two most common OMR types are multiple and grid. For multiple choice questions, select multiple. Use the grid type if your region contains a grid or matrix of marks that equates to a single piece of data, such as a student ID. Choose the data type that matches your region. Either textual or numeric. The region layout will be filled out for you based on the marks detected. However, you should verify that it is correct. Enter or review the number of rows and columns contained in the region. For orientation, if the bubbles are in columns, choose Column. If the bubbles go across in rows, choose Row. In the Response Choices, underneath Labels, Type in the response choices for each bubble. This information represents exactly what you will see in your data when the filled in forms are processed. You can also use the possible label scales list for frequently used labels. Then click OK. You will then see a new node in the tree view and a green rectangle around the defined region. Next, I will show you how to define an OMR region by appending a linked region. Appended regions need to be used when something separates bubbles that logically belong to the same question, such as text. 
In this example, you will begin by defining the hospital unit as your OMR region. Click on the last node you created in the tree view. Then follow the steps from before to define an OMR region. Under the first section, click and drag your cursor over the first column of bubbles. The properties window then appears. Define the region name. Leave the OMR type as multiple and the data type as textual. Then because the bubbles are in a column, change the region orientation to column. In the response choices, underneath labels, Type in the response choices for each bubble. Then click OK. For questions like this, where the text is separating the bubbles within the same question, you need to append the second set of bubbles to the first set. To do so, click on the new node you just created. Then click Region. Append linked region. Click and drag your cursor over the second column of bubbles. Once you release, the properties window then appears. Notice that the region definition and the region layout boxes are filled out already. All you have to do is fill in the labels like before. Then click OK. You will see two green rectangles around the columns of bubbles and a new node in the tree view. Continue creating your OMR regions until the form is completed. The order in which the regions appear on the left is the order in which they will be scanned. You can drag and drop the regions in the tree to reorder them. Note that you can copy similar regions to make the process go faster. You have successfully learned how to use OMR regions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Thanks for watching.